So I've just walked up the hill to the citadel at um, the Amman Citadel and it's a good maybe a couple of kilometres um, square um, at the top of a very big hill. This is the Temple of Hercules. Over there behind that hill is a mosque and I'll walk over there and we can see that soon. And in here is the um, Archaeological Museum. So as you walk around this site, you can actually walk right up to the, uh, the, the, the stones. So it's really quite impressive. So I'll go for a walk and I'll show you some more. So I've moved to the part of the citadel top of the hill, seven hills of Amman. This is the Roman uh, precinct. So all the area, all the stones and stuff in this area are from Roman. And uh, just behind me there is the mosque. So I'll go in and have a look at the mosque. But you can see how with the elevation of this site, how it was the perfect uh, location for a citadel or a fortress. So I've walked into the mosque and it's got a very large dome which has been reconstructed there with wood. And basically it has the cross shape this is the centre and then there's like an, a neve or an alcove running off either side. Some of the walls have been reconstructed but some are original. I'm not sure you can actually see the, the carving work on that one there. It's just quite exquisite and very detailed because it's an Islamic uh, structure. There's no um, no specific idols. It's um, petals or flowers or curves. Um, that type of decoration. Very nice. So I've just come out of the mosque and I'm just walking down this paved area with these pillars to the side and this is called the Colonnade Street and this is from the Umayyad period, an Islamic period, I've probably said it wrong, but there I go again, from 7 to 730 AD. And uh, within this street there is a, a water system from that time, so that's pretty impressive that it is still there. And this colonnade basically runs from the mosque to this hall up here, so I'll just go and have a look what's in there. So I came out of the mosque and I came down this colonnade street um, of the Umayyad period of the 730 um, AD and came into this space and what this space is is a, an open audience chamber leading to a throne room and what would have originally um, been over the top of this would have been a four-sided um, four um, archway with some massive rocks by the looks of that. Still from that same period, about 3, 730 AD. So I've basically come to the far end of the citadel and this is the Islamic side, just looking over the north of Jordan. And there we have the flagpole, which was raised in 2003. And it's uh, 120, I'm reading this, 126.9 meters um, uh, the flag is actually 60 meters wide and 30 meters long so pretty impressive then the other thing you can see is just you know, pan around you can see the old uh, buildings but then right in the middle then you can see the new construction with that investment that foreign investment so the whole city is a bit of a paradox and a contrast between the traditional and the modern. One thing I do like about this museum is actually in chronological order. So this is from the, the prehistoric and stone age. It's really well laid out. Death masks, child in a burial chamber. <coughs> Okay. 
One of the things I saw last time I was really impressed with was this, um, it's a grinding stone, so it's like a mortar and pestle, so you put the, the um, grain in the middle, that rise acts as a, a centre point, and the piece of wood goes in there and you just grind it around. The technology is just quite amazing. It goes around to the Iron Age. That was the Hellenic period. So Hellenic is more Greek. I think the word Hellenic in it kind of indicates that it's Greek. And uh, these are some anthropoid coffins. And pretty impressive statues and carvings. A gun barrel. Very intricate work there. This one's fascinating. This is original chain mail. Oil lamps. And just a very intricate um, carving here. This one says that it's uh, from 1174 to 1516, so it's very, um, you see where those traditional patterns come from. Just walking past this structure here, which is apparently a uh, Bronze Age cave tomb that dates from the 23rd century BC. Mummified for communal burial in the Middle Bronze Age of about 4,000 years ago. To give you a rough idea, you actually come in to the citadel in this space here. And we walked around right up to that far area up there which was the uh, throne, the audience hall and the throne room. So uh, it's actually quite a big site. So it's a bit of a challenge when you're uh, actually in a very popular tourist spot when there's uh, a lot of other people around. So uh, just come over here to a quiet area um, where I'm uh, standing in front of the Temple of Hercules so this is a Roman ruin from um, 161 to 166 AD. Once again, it's quite a, an impressive structure with those uh, remaining columns in situ there. And if we looked over the, uh, the north of Amman before, this is the south of Amman, um, looking around uh, the seven hills of Amman. So just looking over the other end of the uh, Citadel space and then you can see over across the way there you can uh, see the amphitheatre. So that's exactly where I'm staying, just opposite to those buildings just there.